everyone welcome back to my channel i know i'm looking a little cute whatever did my eyebrows whatever i have no makeup on because i just don't feel like it I just don't but i, I kind of got my hair together before i came on the camera so i did a little something i put a little effort but uh welcome back to my channel okay beat for jesus all right all right beats beat okay so today we're going to be talking about the fabulous reds rambunctious reds okay red okay so i have about eight colors here that i'm going to try on that i'm going to talk about and i also have liners as well so we're just gonna get started okay some high end some low end let y'all know what it is my lips are kind of smooth already so we're going to go from the lightest or the brightest to the darkest. Um, this lipstick specifically is from Bite. It is called Phrase or Phrase. I don't know. Phrase. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't know. I'm butchering the name. But this is like a pink red or kind of towards more of the pinky more hot pink fuchsia colors um i'm going to line this with um the color pop lippy pencil in the color heart this This is not a lip stain, this is a lipstick, and this lipstick is more of a satin finish, and it has a little moisture in it, so you won't walk around with dry lips. But this lip is good for the summer and for the spring. I feel like this is more of a summer color. This is more of a fiesta, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me Latina vibes, <laughs> okay? This is cute. This is what you wear when you wear a cute, nice little sundress or whatever. It's it's loud, so I suggest if you don't like being too loud, of a, it's too loud of a color, I would suggest it for you. I think this would be pretty on lighter skin. You might have to wear a darker liner if you're a darker skin complexion because I think it would be cute darker too. So the next color we're going to get into is um, Estee Lauder in the color 300 and it's called hot streak i really really like the the make of this container of this lipstick this this is baby this is bougie okay <laughs> let me pull out my let me pull out my estelle lot of real quicks <laughs> okay this is this is what this gives like <laughs> creme de la creme so I don't think I will use this with the liner. If I do, I feel like this is the orangey red lipstick. This is also a cute summer color, maybe a spring color if you want to be loud. This will be cute with a nice, you know, casual spring summer dress as well. I don't think like, you know, you would wear this to like a gallery, but this is like a I like how how the lipstick is sideways. I like that. It's cute. Now, like I said, this giving me Latina vibes, fiesta. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, have a nice a uh, colored dress with some bright colors you can wear this with it because this is like orangey red i would line this with the bff sorry y'all <laughs> i would line this up with the bff uh three pencil um 
by ColourPop. And I would definitely, it'll definitely kind of tone it down just a little bit and it will blend it in just a little bit. This is the color my skin tone, which I like this a lot. So I think you can line it with that or you can line it with another red lip pencil, but this would look cute with the, with the new color, maybe something closer to your skin color to kind of calm it down a little, but this is fabulous as well. So I like this color, it's very bright. And loud like me. I know this Estee Lauder was expensive. I got this in a a little travel pack of two other lip glosses. I mean lipsticks and the mirror. It was like ten dollars. And Estee Lauder ain't cheap, y'all. Estee Lauder's not cheap. So a lot of my stuff I have is high end. But the next color, this is a lip gloss. But I really like this lip gloss. I do wear it. Um, it is by. I think it's, it's by L'Oreal. It's like the infallible lip lacquer or something like that. I don't know. But this is bomb. Okay. This is bomb. This will last up. So what I will do, I will line this particular lip gloss up with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is my first time using this one in the color Bossy. I usually don't line my lips with this, but I will today. I like this lip gloss because first of all, it is long lasting. This lasts you the whole day. You will have shine and lip color that will last you all day. I like it because it's not too shiny. It's not too glossy, but it's not to the point where you can't see no shine. It's like the perfect in between. And this will last you all day. I promise you this. Will this will look really good on all skin colors, all skin types. Now, how this look on me, it may not look good on you so don't expect every red color to match your skin tone this is just it's bomb make my lips looking like okay black version of dizzy princess of snow white and it gives me that you know glossy apple look i like that you get what i'm saying you have to make sure that it don't get on your teeth uh to avoid that you fold a paper towel and you kind of put your lips against the um paper towel like this so my paper towel is folded or you could just fold another time and you just go you know to get to keep the lipstick from getting on your teeth it takes that excess lipstick off so that's how you do that um the next color i'm going to do is probably my all-time favorite color i wear it all the time point blank period with everything every time you see me on a um picture with some red lip gloss is nine times out of ten it is this lip lipstick this lip stain it is a lip stain and it is mac cosmetics and it's the retro mac uh, liquid lip color feel so grand one of my old classmates referred me to this shout out to chanel she referred me to this color because i saw her wear it on instagram and it was bomb and i was like i have to go get that so i've been having this ever since and it lasts long so this is i still have this one i remember one day i almost lost this one i was like oh lord where's my where's this lip gloss i'm about to lose my mind because it's my favorite lip gloss this is my favorite red lip gloss so far so let's put this on for y'all and i'm going to use uh the uh color pop lippy pencil in bossy This is Feel So Grand. This is like the matte version 
of the L'Oreal infam uh, Infallible Lip Lacquer. I'm not sure what's the name. I forgot the name. Oh, okay. The name of the lip lacquer was Red Fatel. The in the color uh 320. But this is like the matte version of this, basically. <laughs> That's what it is. And it's very cute. <laughs> Okay, everything pop, popping, popping, period, pop, pop, pop. This is everything. I love this color. And it dries matte, so it's not going to move. Now, if you eat a little something, something, you might have to uh, reapply just a little bit. Um, And that's it. Next color, next in line. The next colors I have are newbies. I've tried some of them on, but we gonna see, they are pretty bright reds. The next color I'm going to put on is Mac Red. Um, I bought this not too long ago. This is kind of like along the red, along the lines of the other reds. It's pretty bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it with uh, the uh, ColourPop Libby Pencil in the color Bossy. I do like this lip liner a lot. It's black. Now, depending on how you want to wear your lipstick, you don't have to use a, a, light, a light colored um, lip pencil. You can use a dark colored lip pencil, depending on the variation of what you want, depending on the contrast of what you want. Um, it all depends. Okay, so that's the lip Okay, this is a, this is MAC Red. This is their lipstick. This is like the basic red. This is like, okay, I'm just stepping out for the day. I'm not trying to do too much. I'm not trying to be too loud. I want to be cute, but I want to be subtle. This is that red. It's cute. I like it. This is the basic red. The version red, I'm going to use the NYX lip liner. I also have Max Cherry Liner, but I don't want to use it yet. I don't want to use it yet, okay? I just don't. I'm going to use the NYX Lip Liner in Spicy because this... This red is a tad bit darker, a tad bit darker. This is more of a matte. I feel like there is a slight difference between the MAC red and this red. I think if you wanna go out, you don't wanna do too much, you don't wanna be too loud, this is a good, good nice color to use. This is matte. The next color is everybody's all time favorite. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people's all-time favorite. You're going to see it everywhere on all any red color, um, red lipstick reviews or tutorial. And this is the mini lipstick version of Ruby Roo. Ruby Woo. <laughs> Ruby Woo. Okay, Ruby Roo. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> so I'm like, I like Scooby-Doo. Ruby Roo. I can't even say it right. Talking about some Ruby Woo. That is the color. Let's look at it because I'm not sure which one I want. I'm probably going to use the same color. I'm going to use the uh, NYX Suede uh, Lip Pencil in the color Spicy to line my lips. <laughs> I'm not sure, I just, I think that I need, but this one, this one, this is a, 
and rip off knitting. So these are like ten dollars. If, if you want to try them, stick before you put the lipstick on. I mean, well, not before you put the lipstick. Before you buy, actually buy the product. If you, you know, want to try and see how it look on you, you use the mini. They got got it for like ten dollars. This is matte as well. I feel like these are a little bit brighter than the ones I had before. I don't know. People always talk about high as yellow tone, blue tone. I don't know. <laughs> I might just go ahead and look up and, and know the difference. Like, I don't know. But I like this one. This one is a little bit louder than the others. I feel like this one is just right. It's in the middle. You don't want to be too loud, but you don't want to be boring and plain. You don't want to be basic. This is it. This is it. This Vic's next color is a new color for me. It is my second favorite color to red that I love a lot. Um, it's a newbie. You can do this any type of way that you like, whatever liner. I'm going to do it with a, first I'm going to do it with a liner that's close to its color, and then I'm going to darken it up a little bit. So colors, ha! <laughs> Dose of colors and the color Extra Saucy. This is bomb. Bomb.com, bomb, okay? We're gonna line it up with Spicy a uh, suede lip pencil. Every liner gives it a, a different dimension, depending on what look that you're going for. Um, This is extra saucy. I love, 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 love this color. This is a deep red. This is a red that you can wear to the gala, okay? This is the, this is the bougie red. This is what you bring out when you, <laughs> When you coming for folks, you know what I'm saying? You just don't you just don't wear this red out anytime, any place. But this is a deeper red. This is a lip stain. This is probably the best lip stain I've ever had as of for is durable, super durable. Super, super duper durable. You ain't gonna see nothing, okay? Burly nothing. When it dries down, it dries down. Now, let me tell you about the kind of this product. The formula is so good and the, the it stays on, but to take it off is a pain, <laughs> okay? Um, to take it off is a pain. Now, on the camera, it looks more red, but if I lined it up with the ColourPop pencil, it's gonna look more pink, it's gonna look more deep. I'm gonna show y'all. And then if you wanna darken it up, you can use a dark liner. You have to have a good, some good wipes to get this stuff off because it is not easy. So I'm going to put some chapstick on. <laughs> and this is the Mac Prep and Prime chapstick. And I'm going to line it with this. I heart it. Color pop with the liner pencil. And it's gonna get another look. It's gonna look totally different. It's not gonna look the same. Because now, when you look at this lip, 
it's not the same. It's berry now. Before it was red, now it's berry. Now it's giving me life. Now, if you want a, dark, a deeper look, you can go in again with it. And you got a darker look. You have a deeper look and it dries matte. You can build this up. It won't, it won't um, peel or anything. That's what I like about this. Fabulous formula. Dose of Colors is the MVP of all of these. MVP, Dose of Colors, extra saucy. Fire. So you get more of a berry look if you do that. Now, if you want to darken it up, I can probably go, I'm going to go on, on top of it. I'm going to use the NK Makeup New York Lip Liner. And it's a plum. It's a plum. I can't really see it because this is old, so. You don't have to work that in there, because baby. Because <laughs> when I say this is matte, this is matte. A different dimension we went from red to berry to dark berry so now you got the the berry outline the dark berry the dark plum color on the outside and the bright red on the inside so it's bringing that berry red out and it's it's just giving it a little bit more contrast so it depends on how you want to look and what look that you what how you want to present yourself um, last but not least is the darkest red. And this red, well, burgundy color is Sin and Mac. Now, I didn't even think about the name of this, but we don't want to call that on ourselves. You don't want to be in Sin, y'all. We don't want that. So what I will be doing is lining my lips with this RK by Kiss Precision lip uh, liner pencil. And what is the color? Child, what's the color? What's the color? This is a berry jam is the so special. a dark color it's very plum very burgundy-ish color like a deep deep burgundy i really like this and i have others that are darker like this i have like a vamp i'm probably gonna put that on too because that does count kind of like red so Yes, this is sand. This is definitely a matte color. I'm going to do is, well, first this item is from Pure Cosmetics. This is it's very fancy. And it comes with a lip liner as well. It's missing the bottom because you're supposed to, I guess, sharpen it to make the lip liner pointed. But it is a vamp color. This is called Forbidding, like Forbidden Fruit, like Forbidden Fruit. <laughs> And I can't even tell you what the color of this lip liner is because the bottom piece is gone. But I'm thinking it's the same thing, so. This lip liner is plum, but it has a red undertone. The other one did not. It was more, it was a true plum. And this lip liner smells bad. Well, I could say it smells like pollen. smells like pollen you know when when the summer when the uh, flowers start blooming and everything start you know 
flying everywhere. It smell like, matter of fact, it smell like those, those, uh, trees with those, um, white, uh, petals. I don't know what them trees are called, but them trees stink so bad. And we have a lot of them over here. That's what they smell like. So this is the color Forbidden. And this is basically another plum color, very similar to Sin. But they have different undertones. This one has a little red under it, you can see it. It has more red under it. So this is a definitely a cute plum color. But this is the end of my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay. Get you some. Bye.